one of the coolest things you can do with a recurring decimal is you can convert it to a common fraction which of course proves that it is a rational number which is what we said in the number systems videos that if it is a repeating decimal it's rational but now we're actually going to prove it okay it's going to seem a little bit like magic but there's some really easy steps to follow and you'll get the hang of it okay so let's just say let 0, 0,1 and I'm going to put in a whole bunch of extra ones I know this goes on to infinity but let's just do five of them and put dot 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 that's going to be x okay bear with me I know this is a bit weird my question now is how many numbers repeat and I'm going to just put this as a way of thinking let me rather use the word digits how many digits repeats okay and the answer is one one digit just the one repeats by one I mean obviously the one that repeats but also the fact that it's only one digit like this could also have been comma two recurring right okay so one digit repeats I'm going to multiply this number by 10 and there is one zero in 10 okay it'll start making a little more sense when we look at other numbers okay so I'm going to say let 0 comma 1 recurring be x what I'm now going to do is I'm going to say 10x okay what would 10x be let's multiply here to the right 10x would be 1 comma 1 recurring okay look at how strangely I'm going to write this 10x is 1 comma 1 1 1 1 1 and I'm just going to put my ellipses there okay and now I'm going to subtract x okay this part you'll be able to be fine with on the left hand side it's why we're doing it that's really confusing for the next few seconds and then it will be clear what's 10x minus 1x well that's 9x okay but what did we say 1x was 1x is look I'm going to lie it directly underneath the previous one 0 comma all those ones okay check this out 10x is 1 comma 1 recurring 1x is 0 comma 1 recurring we subtracted 10 minus 1 now we're going to subtract this thing minus that thing the reason I've lined them up underneath each other like you were encouraged to do in primary school is because they're going to eliminate all of these ones are going to just eliminate completely and I'm going to have nothing at the bottom in terms of these guys being subtracted it's going to be comma zero right one minus zero equals one and now I have a really nice grade 8 equation 9x equals one if 9x equals one then x equals one over nine okay take one over nine on your calculator and press equals convert it to a decimal so go s to d button and you'll see that it's 0 comma 1 recurring isn't that fantastic okay right bear with me it is the system that's going to work and we're using a really clever little algorithm a little procedure that will work to convert them okay so once you see it works I'm hoping that you trust it a little bit more okay so now it's 3 comma 2 4 so again I ask myself how many digits repeat it's comma 2 4 2 4 2 4 right okay so I'm going to say let x equal 3 comma 2 4 2 4 I'm just reminding myself that this really is a really long number okay let x equal that how many digits repeat 2 which means I'm going to multiply x by 1 with two zeros there's my 2 1 2 okay so now instead of saying 10x I'll just scroll up instead of saying 10x equals that I'm now going to say 100x and remember that 100x is just multiplying by moving the comma twice to the right okay 100x equals 
multiplying there 1 2 it's going to be 324 comma 2424 and so on then I'm going to say minus x and what was x line it up directly underneath the previous number x was 3 comma 2 4 okay now if you don't get the exact same thing here that so these have to eliminate okay it's got to be 4 minus 4 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 if your thing after the comma doesn't look exactly like the first line you've definitely done something wrong go back and start again you won't get anywhere further than that okay right 324 minus 3 here is 321 okay obviously comma nothing 100 minus 1 is 99x okay and we're back in the world of grade 9 equations 99x equals 321 so x equals 321 over 99 okay so now what we need to figure out is we need to figure out can that be simplified to anything that is smaller um, I don't know if you know this trick but if you add up digits you can tell whether it divides by 3 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 which is a number that divides by 3 which means 321 divides by 3 okay and that step you can do on the calculator remember that non-calculator questions are asking us to do a certain kind of thinking without a calculator but we can do the baby steps on the calculator 321 divided by 3 is 107 and obviously 99 divided by 3 is 33 okay now go and punch that into your calculator go and say 107 over 33 and then go S to D and see what you come up with it will be 3 comma 2 4 2 4 2 4 okay and recurring with a 2 4 indefinitely okay let's go back to one that has one digit repeating okay my 0 comma 8 one digit repeating so I'm going to multiply by 10 okay see if you can get one step ahead of me in this section of the video let x equal the 0 comma 8 recurring and now I'm gonna say 10x 10x equals 8 there we go 8 comma 8 recurring and then I'm going to subtract 1x which is 0 line it up underneath very nicely 0 comma 8 recurring and now I do subtraction on both sides 10 minus 1 gives me 9x 8 minus 0 gives me 8 so x equals 8 over 9 did you get that one okay last one for this video I now have three digits recurring which means I'm going to multiply by 1 with three zeros okay let x equal 0 comma 135 135 and so on okay then I'm going to say not 10x not 100x but a thousand x is let's move my comma 1 2 3 is 135 comma 135 and so on I'm still gonna just subtract the 1 okay and then remember that everything is going to eliminate after the comma and if it doesn't we've done something wrong okay so these guys won't go anywhere and 135 minus 0 is just 135 so what I have is I have 1000 minus 1 I have 999 X equals 135 okay does that convert to anything simpler when we solve x is going to be 135 over 999 9. dividing by 3 is really useful because you see everything is ending up with over 99 over 999 or over 9 so dividing by 3 let's see 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 5 
is 9. Okay, so that means everything divides by 3 or a multiple of 3. Let's see, 135 divided by 3 is 45. And 999 divided by 3 is obviously 333, but I feel like more is coming here. 45 definitely divides by 3 and by 9. And 333 also divides by 9. Quite frankly, at this point, you can just type in this into your calculator and get the simplest form. It will do it for you. Okay, But I'm just showing you some steps to remind you of other skills that have been useful up until now. Okay, 45 divided by 9 is 5, and 333 divided by 9 is 37. My answer then is 5 over 37, and you can go and type that into the calculator now. Press S to D and prove that it is in fact that original 0, 0,135 recurring that we started with.